hard. And the faces of men who worked that earth are hard and dried from the sun. This worthless land with water will yield much. For 50 years we've wanted to irrigate, but they held us back. Now we will bring water to it to raise food for the defenders of Madrid. people live and work the land for the common good. with the union label, but there is only enough for the village. Irrigating the wasteland of the village can give ten times as much grain for bread, as well as potatoes, wine, and onions for Madrid. on the Taco River and the main high road that is the lifeline between Valencia and Madrid. All food for Madrid comes on this road. To win the war, the rebel troops must cut this road. Thank you. 
They plan the irrigation of the dry fields. They go to trace the ditch. This is a true face of men going into action. It is a little different from any other face that you will ever see. Men cannot act before the camera in the presence of death. Cargo, buena deriva. Carguing. The villagers in Fuente Duena hear this noise and say, our guns. Line curve north to Madrid. These were the doors of houses that are empty now. Those who survived the bombardment bring them to reinforce the new trenches.
you're fighting to defend your country, war, as it lasts, becomes an almost normal life. You eat and drink and sleep and read the papers. People's Army. It has a range of two kilometers. started for the lines three months ago, many of them held a rifle for the first time. Some did not even know how to reload. Now they are instructing the new recruits how to take down and reassemble a rifle. is a salient driven into Madrid itself when the enemy took University City. After repeated counterattacks, they are still in the Casa de Velasquez, the palace on the left with the two pointed towers, and in the ruined clinical hospital. The bearded man is Commander Martinez de Aragon. Before the war, he was a lawyer. He was a brave and skillful commander, and he died in the attack on the Casa del Campo on the day we filmed the battle there. The rebels try to relieve the clinic. Yeah. 
boy from the village writes home. Papa, I will be there in three days. Tell our mother. are called together. The company is assembled to elect representatives to attend the big meeting to celebrate the uniting of all the militia regiments into the new brigades of the People's Army. The clenched fist of Republican Spain. Enrique Lister, a stonemason from Galicia. In six months, he rose from a simple soldier to the command of a division. He is one of the most brilliant young soldiers of the Republican Army. one of the first commanders of the 5th Regiment. He talks of the army of the people, how they are fighting for Spanish democracy and for the government they themselves have chosen. Fighting together, we shall win a new, strong Spain. Camaradas, el quinto regimiento desaparece. Viva nuestra capital, el Madrid invencible. Viva el ejército popular, el ejército de la victoria. Adelante, por una España potente y feliz para la victoria. Salud. José Díaz. He used to work 12 hours a day as a typesetter before he became a member of the Spanish Parliament. Gustav Regler, one of the fine writers of Germany who came to Spain to fight for his ideals. He was gravely wounded in June. Regler praises the unity of the People's Army. The defense of Madrid will remind men always of their loyalty and courage. Für seinen Heroismus einen Gruß an seine Toten und heute an diesem Tage ein Gruß für den weisen Verzicht, den dieses Regiment von Revolutionären gegenüber der Notwendigkeit zeigt, die Volksarmee zu schmieden. Salut! The most famous woman in Spain today is speaking. They call her La Passionaria. She speaks of the new Spain. It is a nation disciplined and brave. It is a new nation forged in the discipline of its soldiers and the enduring bravery of its women. The loudspeaker broadcasts to the rebels. Camaradas de la doce bandera. Os habla José Neiva. ¿Me conocéis? Me encuentro hoy entre mis hermanos del ejército del pueblo donde he recibido un trato excelente. Aquí no impera el trato bestial que nos dan en esas filas.
living in the cellars of that ruined building are the enemy. They are Moors and civil guards. They are brave troops, or they would not have held out after their position is hopeless. But they are professional soldiers fighting against a people in arms, trying to impose the will of the military on the will of the people. And the people hate them, for without their tenacity and the constant aid of Italy and Germany, the Spanish revolt would have ended six weeks after it began. This battalion goes on leave, and Julian, who is with them, has three days' leave to the village. Alba's palace is destroyed by rebel bombardment. Treasures of Spanish art are carefully salvaged by government militiamen. Madrid, by its position, is a natural fortress, and each day the people make its defenses more impregnable. food for supper. Sometimes the food runs out before you reach the door. Sometimes a shell falls near the line, and at home they wait and wait, and no one brings back anything for supper. Unable to enter the town, the enemy try to destroy it. Now they take the keeper away, but neither to his home nor to his office. The government urges all civilians to evacuate Madrid.
Where can we live? What can we do for a living? I won't go. I'm too old. But we must keep the children off the streets, except when there is need to stand in line. is speeded up by the bombardment. Every useless killing angers the people. Men from all businesses, professions, and trades enlist in the Republican Army. Meanwhile, in Valencia, the president... Nos atacaron sin con, con el pueblo. Ignoraban la larga lucha que han seguido las masas españolas en contra de la tiranía. Le sorprende su oposición al fascismo, tanto como su gran auxilio a la capital. Hasta en los pueblos más pequeños, en donde en este mismo momento... Hay que completar esta obra a tiempo para la nueva defensa de Madrid. Ya tenemos el aparato que se compró con el dinero que nos sobraba el año pasado. Y desde luego, la disposición a trabajar. Solo nos falta el cemento que en poco tiempo estará aquí. catches a ride on an empty truck and comes home sooner than he expected.
boys in the evening when they come back from the fields. future shock battalion of bullfighters, football players, and athletes is drilling. They say the old goodbyes that sound the same in any language. She says she'll wait. He says that he'll come back. He knows she'll wait. Who knows for what, the way the shelling is. Nobody knows if he comes back. Take care of the kid, he says. I will, she says, and no, she can't. They both know that when they move you out in trucks, it's to a battle. each morning to these people of the town, sent by the rebels from the hills two miles away. The smell of death is acrid high explosive smoke and blasted granite. Why do they stay? They stay because this is their city. These are their homes. Here is their work. This is their fight. The fight to be allowed to live as human beings. Boys look for bits of shell fragment as they once gathered hailstones. So the next shell finds them. The German artillery has increased their allowance per battery today. Before, death came when you were old or sick. But now it comes to all this village. High in the sky and shining silver, it comes to all who have no place to run, no place to hide. Aviación! Aviación!
three Junker planes did this. Government pursuit planes shot one Junker down. I can't read German either. These dead came from another country. They signed to work in Ethiopia, the prisoners said. We took no statements from the dead, but all the letters that we read were very sad. The Italians lost more killed, wounded, single battle of Brewega than in all the Ethiopian war. The rebels attacked the Madrid-Valencia road again. They have crossed the Harama River and try to take the Arganda Bridge. Troops are rushed from the north to the counterattack. works to bring the water. at the Valencia Road.
the assault, for cameras need much luck to go. The slow, heavy-laden, undramatic movement forward. The men in echelon, in columns of six, in the ultimate loneliness of what is known as contact, for each man knows there is only himself and five other men, and before him, all the great unknown. prepares for, when six men go forward into death to walk across a stretch of land and by their presence on it prove this earth is ours. been successful. The road is free. Six men were five. Then four were three. But these three stayed, dug in and held the ground, along with all the other fours and threes and twos that started out as sixes. The bridge is ours. The road is saved. Yeah. 
men who never fought before, who were not trained in arms, who only wanted work and food, fight on. Oh, oh, oh. 